drifting, uh, just pushing a car more than what it should be pretty much. Yeah. It's just a rush, like especially at Pukekohe today, like your just speeds are so crazy and you know your spot is telling you you're not going quick enough and you're like you're pushing it pretty hard so Oh it's the adrenaline eh man, you know? You come to places like Pocky, you know, with a 200k entry, you know, um, you just can't beat that feeling eh, throwing that car sideways and hanging on. <laughs> Yeah, this is the only track that you sort of get a real, like a, a fluttery heart sort of thing, you know, you get a little bit nervous, so it's good to watch for the spectators. Started out about, oh, would have been about seven years ago now. Um, just the yeah, boys sitting at home watching a bit of stuff on YouTube and stuff like that with the Japanese, and um, yeah, decided to all go get bloody um, Laurels and Skylines and Sylvia's SPDs and stuff. Um, I started out with a Nissan Sephiro, um, cut the springs, standard motor and just went to as many track as I could pretty much and just yeah learned learned that way they were, they were pretty much driving with trainer wheels the old Sephiros so <laughs> it was good fun um, it was cheap back then I just got any any tyres I could off, off anyone I could get them off so now the levels raised up a bit so you've got to have the best tyres in the business so yeah it's changed a bit over the years I started out about a year and a half ago. Um, I came and watched and um, watched them build JT's RX-7. And uh, when he got up to the track, just came along and watched and thought, yeah, this stuff looks 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 the shit. So something I wanted to do. It's not all uh, racing cars and go cars. Yeah. And uh, in 2008, I made. Brandon uh, from D1 NZ and uh, I was invited to come one of the uh, D2 NZ events and it feels like, I feel like um, drifting in a rear view drive car is, is a lot different and there's heaps of fun in it and um, doing it in a safe, safe environment is really good and helped me improve a lot of skills. Just the speed man, the commitment it takes, because if you hit it anything less than sort of 185, 190 nowadays, you're not going to make it around the corner properly, so you really need to be hitting it with speed.
uh, back in the day here we had a, uh, one of the first outside clipping point days and um, came into my battle and just went a bit too wide, hit the wall, hit the sand trap sideways and rolled it. It was a pretty scary moment for me. This track is a lot faster than I've ever drifted before. About 40 k's or so, which is yeah, huge, huge change. Come over John Deere and fourth gear. Uh, just put your foot into it to get to around 200 k's. Coming down front straight. Um, going under the tunnel, fourth, into fifth, and just not lifting at all. Well, my speed only goes to 180, so you just make sure the, the needle's touching the, the end of the, <laughs> the thing, so it's a bit nerve-wracking. Fire it in. If you go too late, you'll hit the wall. And the wall's actually sort of running, you know, you, you're gonna hit it if you go off and it's, it's, that's the scariest part about this track. Coming around, um, clipping the inside clip, they, you know, the, the typical pocky line is just hold it wide on the inside, you know. Like too much wheel spin and you're too unpredictable with, the, with trying to point the car where you want to go. Yep. change down to third, stay in third for the rest of the track, hitting all the clipping points as you go and, and a good fast exit out of Castro. Pretty much come down to Castro and just nail the inside out and just let it glide out. So it's all about the sweeper basically, how fast you can hit it. It's a pretty cool track. Well, as you can see, bro, um, done a mishap on the old sweeper there. Just mis misjudged the old line and just come across from the outside in. And when I initiated the drift, it sort of just drifted into the wall. So. Yeah bro, um, full of nerves but hey, we'll get out there and give it 200%, I mean, fit to go bro. Four rotor running on three and it's not going to be good enough. <laughs> Do you have one on? The old gear lever keeps coming loose for some reason. Smashing it too hard. <laughs> ready to rock? Yeah man, ready to go. <laughs> Pick up my nuts. <laughs> um, best thing to do is get your camera over there and check it out, my bro. <laughs> you tell me. Mad Mike as my spotter today. <laughs> Pretty hard case. <laughs> Listening to his comment.
Gary and my brother Hans for looking after the workshop. Um, also our awesome pit crew. Everyone's been working great. Great. Um, our sponsors, Porter Clutch, ENH Motors, the car's going awesome. Um, Only Hunger Panel and Paint, Mad Mike for doing the mean stickers, um, Snitch, PI, Motul, everyone that's helped me. Thanks. Um, well, D1NZ was the first first company, I guess, in New Zealand to, to start drifting, so I've always stood by them. Um, just the way they run the events, it's, it's always, it ticks over nicely, and that's always good coming from a driver. Um, you get more track time, basically. Uh, the new women, the people. Um, and the variety of cars, you can have different make cars, you can have different engine transplants, uh, the regulation is good, everybody is friendly, helping out each other, and we, we are here to have a good time. Oh, it's just, just everyone, you know, everyone's really good and everyone gets on, it's just good competition and it's, you know, it's, our guys here are pretty good, you know, they can go compete overseas with all the good guys, so it's really competitive and it's just a cool thing to do, you know, it's just, you know, it's just a buzz doing it, so that's why I like it. Uh, well, it's, it's hard at drifting, you know, um, started out with the boys and they're all still here, most of them, you know, it'd um, be good to have some of the old guys back, you know, um, Victor and, and Justin and, and JT and that, um, but yeah, no, everyone's, Everyone's good, you know, everyone gets along with everyone and keen to help out and just get the cars going, man, like whatever it takes, you know, it's, it's us, that's our sport, you know, and that's, you know, I don't think we could um, go into any other sports, you know, because it's too serious and we just want to have fun, you know. Put your hands together the top three for round